Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you need your very own website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner. So, one thing that I've always wanted to do here on the Isle of Skye, and I need to do more of when I come up to Scotland actually, is a hike. So I've parked up, but wait until I show you this. <laughs> yes! So I've literally, look, you can see parking spaces here. I've literally just pulled into the car park to start today's planned hike. And look at that, I cannot ignore it. So apologies if there's any um, sort of vehicle noise here. I'm right next to the main road. This is amazing. This right here, I'll tell you this, this is the beauty of the telephoto lens. When you see this photograph, yeah, never gonna have a clue where we are. I think there's a hotel up here on the left. There's these lights on the drive. It's horrible, but that is absolutely stunning. And what a treat. As you see it now, actually, see this sort of area of mist? That was stretched across the bottom of that little cooling range there, or big cooling range. Absolutely beautiful, those black mountains. We've got a few little patches of snow up there just to give us contrast. And it's as simple as zooming in at around about 100 mil and just isolating those pretty much the sort of three main peaks that you can see there. Uh, obviously in a landscape orientation, and yeah, we had that mist covering the bottom of those clouds. So it's kind of like they, they were encompassed, they were circled by cloud. And just the peaks were there, the black peaks. Oh, what a start. If this is, you know, a start, um, oh, this is how things are gonna go for the day, is what I'm trying to say. I'll take it. Um, so, do the settings even matter here? Not really. ISO 64 F11, and it was a five second exposure. You can't tell with the camera, even the video camera. It's still proper dark. So yeah, five seconds, just to make sure the exposure is correct. Madness, what a way to start the day. And I cannot wait for this hike. I have come, I have come all of 15 seconds. There's the lights, can you see them? There's the lights from the first shot in the car park. Just honestly, look, let's just, let's just be real about this. Whoever built this bridge knew exactly what they were doing. They were getting ready for vloggers on YouTube to just come here and take photographs. That is made for photographers. That, that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it's, I've genuinely never seen this photograph, but I mean, it's right next to the main road. There's big lorries flying past me. This has probably been taken millions of times. I'm surprised if there's not tripod, holes from tripod legs on the floor. Anyway, I need to crack on or else I'm, it's a big hike this is as well. It's about three and a half hours in, three and a half back. So I need to get a wobble on. Um, I mean, it's almost perfection, isn't it? I'm gonna grab another shot now. Uh, what am I in? A bit wider now, about 40 mil something. Let's grab another one there. I'm at ISO 64, F16. Big wagons coming past, man. I'm not used to it. F16, which is giving me a five second exposure, which is the, the river is fairly shallow, but a five seconds is giving me a nice little long exposure effect. It's as simple as it gets, to be honest. I'll probably take one more with the polarizer on, see if it makes a difference with the glare on the water, but. What needs to be said about this? Get your iPhone out on this one and it'll look quality. Right, I really do need to crack on now. The excitement is brewing if it wasn't already. Goodness me.
what can I say? What can I say? I've come, oh, this is getting a bit silly now. Look, well, you can see the frigging bridge behind me. I've only come over 30 seconds and I've stopped again. I, I feel like I could cry. It's so, so, so beautiful, honestly. Oh my goodness, man. Like when you travel so far, I, look, I, I do it so much that I forget how much effort I put in, I suppose. But then when, when these moments happen, it, it really does blow my mind. Like, look at this, man. Look at that. So I've come, obviously, a little bit further from the bridge now, just a little bit further. <sighs> just to try and make the most of some of these cascades in the foreground. I could bawl my eyes out right now. This is so beautiful. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. Oh, I'm on the brink. Jesus, honestly, I know I always get overexcited with my not my photographs but you know what I mean like when it's beautiful and I say I say things that might be quite bold but honestly oh man. On, uh, uh, I am absolutely speechless at this landscape um photo best photograph of the trip so far this one it has to be I was going to say something mad like favorite photograph ever but I don't know I haven't even got it home yet it's up there it's up there so one quarter of a second um, and then I'm playing with my ISO a little bit sorry guys I'm all over the shop here ISO 640 it is so important that I get one quarter of a second shutter speed here in my opinion because the water's moving quite fast. I don't want it all to just blur out and be horrible and white. I'm gonna even try one at one eighth of a second and put the ISO up to 1,250. I don't mind it on this camera. But yeah, again, it's all about that mist. What can I say? All joking aside, I was gonna say again, oh, I've stopped again, but all joking aside, as if I'm gonna ignore this, like, I'd give up the hike for this. I'd have to. It's just absolute madness. I hope you like this one, and I'm going to try my best now to crack on with this hike, but what can I say? No promises. No promises, guys. Ugh. Scotland in the middle of winter. We're in the t-shirt. It is piping hot. <laughs> um, oh, so I've got in to the mountains just a little bit. You can see the bit of a 360. It's gorgeous. It feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I suppose in many ways I am, oh, even though I'm still about 40 minutes from that main road. Um, the hotel last night, I haven't even had a chance to talk about it. It was quality. It was so nice, proper recharge the batteries. Um, Sat and enjoyed the snooker, living the dream. Um, yeah, and it was, like I said, great for, you know, for me to be able to recharge my batteries and all the camera batteries and stuff. Um, it was a bit of a necessity, to be honest. What I was gonna say is when I got there last night, I was gonna sack off coming out for sunrise, or, you know, first thing. Um, I was gonna, I was like making excuses for myself, you know, saying, ah, oh, it's all right, you know. I'll just go out for the sunset. I won't bother. It'll be, it'll be good if I get a bit of a lie in, all that sort of stuff. And at the last minute, I thought, no, I've come all this way. I must make sure I get out first thing. And boy, am I glad I did. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, this is quite a long hike. It's probably gonna be quite a long video as well at this rate. Um, I've probably got still another three hours to go, two and a half hours at least. Um, it's quite a small mountain and it's just, right into that valley you can see there and it's all about location 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 it is right in the midst of all these mountains i nearly said fells then in all of these mountains um and we're going to be over overlooking some lochs and stuff and i mean if the conditions stay like this 
as long as I'm not in it, as long as I'm not in the cloud. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So, I really do make, need to make a little bit of progress now. And I shall catch up to you when I'm a bit deeper into the mountains. So I'm just hiking across this, <laughs> well, I don't know what to call it, like marshland bog. Um, it's pretty squishy, um, just because, uh, you know when, as a photographer, a scene just sort of unfolds, it presents itself to you. Oh, we've got light over there, that's a good sign. See that? Yeah, when a scene just um, presents itself to you, and this is one of them, look, a few little cascades there. Big mountain in the background with a load of atmosphere around it. That is stunning. So what I'm going to do is get down there. It's all quite obvious, isn't it? Um, fairly wide angle. Stick the lens right close to some of them cascades down there. And then um, big mountain in the background with all the, with all the cloud lingering around it. Stunning. So fingers crossed it is that simple. <laughs> oh, brilliant. So I've come a little bit further down, closer to the falls um, than I was where I was first setting up. Um, as with any location really, as long as you've got the time, I've just taken five or ten minutes to wander around and just try and get the best perspective, that's what this is. Where I first started, what I didn't like was, it was the waterfall directly underneath the mountain, which I just couldn't make any, I couldn't make it work. Whereas here I've come, you'll probably see it um, as you're looking at the picture there, the waterfall's more to the left hand side of your frame, whereas the mountain, <laughs> when it comes out of the clouds at least, is over on the right hand side and that's exactly how I've got it in the photograph and I just like that you know I talk about it a lot that visual weight where we've got one subject towards the left and one towards the right really really simple like proper easy stuff you've just got to move your feet <laughs> um, again shutter speed is so important here because of the water I'm going for let me just double check that um, I want to check the last one that I take because it, I think it surprised me a bit yeah one tenth of a second so because that water is quite fast, you know, I've taken um, photographs of cascades at one second exposure. So as far as I'm concerned, one tenth of a second is actually quite a quick shutter speed. But yeah, it's because the water's moving so fast, I don't want to choose too long of a shutter speed or it ends up just looking like this horrible white mush <laughs> and it loses all its detail. So one tenth is working there um, perfectly and that, I'm putting the ISO up to 250 at f11 just so I can get that shutter speed. Uh, polarizer on, very important here because this water is this gorgeous sort of blue colour. Aqua, it is absolutely wonderful and um, completely unexpected but yeah I'm really glad I came down here to be honest. It's about five minutes from where the main track is and of course I've come across that bog. <laughs> um, but the waterfalls look a lot bigger now and up, up close and personal. And that's it, the only other thing I'm waiting for, guys, is for the mountain, as you can see, that you can't even see it, but I'm waiting for him to make an appearance, basically, and then hitting the shutter. So as with a lot of landscape photography, this one will probably require just a little bit of patience. So I hope you like that photograph. I am about dead on halfway now until I get to my mountain. I was just looking at this situation here, it's quite funny. So if you look that way, which is where I've come from, we've got light. It's beautiful, it's quite clear. Looks like it's great for photography, you know? And then this way where we are headed, we're basically off into the thick mist. Sometimes I question my decisions as a landscape photographer. And you know, it's just common sense, isn't it? Why would you go that way when you go that, that way? Madness. Anyway, fingers crossed, I shouldn't be doing this a lot, um, that it all works out for us. Let's crack on.
I can safely say, I think, that you could pour a jug of water over my head and I would somehow end up drier. I am absolutely drenched. Um, more on the hike in a second. Firstly, I'm having a stop because I wanted to say another massive thank you to Squarespace for kindly sponsoring today's video. Um, Squarespace are an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website. It's exactly what I did. I've been a proud user of Squarespace with my very own website for around about three years now. They've got loads of templates that you can use as you're creating your own website. You're sure to find one that suits you. Um, and it actually means it's very, very easy to do, but it's, it also means you don't have to do that much work <laughs> because of all the wonderful templates. I certainly didn't anyway, and I'm really proud of my website. Um, it's great if you want to sell prints as well. It's what obviously I do as a landscape photographer. I might have even put a couple of the images from earlier on in this video up on my prints page on my Squarespace website. I don't know yet if they're good enough, but yeah, um, really intuitive and a great way for me to be able to sell prints. But yeah, they come highly recommended from me. Uh, if you want to give them a go, go to squarespace.com forward slash Henry Turner, get yourself a free trial. And if you like it, be sure to use the offer code Henry Turner at checkout for 10% off your first purchase. What a bargain. All that info will be in the video description below anyway. Um, right, I have got, let me grab it one second. I've got the jet boil and the water filter. It's time for a little bit of din-dins before the final straight up to this peak. As you can see, the views are not looking too good at the minute, but we'll chat about that in a sec. <laughs> Oh guys, guys, I uh, I finished my jet boat. Wait till you see this. Just you prepare your sends. Oh goodness. I finished my jet boil meal, had a bit of a drink. And then I said to you, we're in the clouds. I've had enough, I'm going home. I was a little bit downtrodden. And I said, I'm not going up to the top of that, the peak that I've been wanting to go to because there's no point, which I still stand by. I'm about 40 minutes on the way back. Are you ready? Look what has unveiled itself in the background. It needs no words. <sighs> what a day. This is mad. So I've frantically set up. I've got, uh, it's took me ages just to wipe the front of the camera lens because I've got nothing bloody dry to wipe the thing with. Everything is just soaking wet. That's madness, absolute madness. So what can I say here? We've all been here as photographers, take what you can get. You know, I haven't messed about going left or right or anything, literally tripod set up, ISO 64 F11 and one quarter of a second. Uh, and I've taken a few at different focal lengths basically because that's the only control that I've got because I have to make the most of this. Um, madness hopefully one of them turns out all right and this is now goodbye <laughs> from this week's video which is strange for me because i feel like i've said it already um i'll leave you with this view thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate your support please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe it doesn't cost you any money it means you'll get notified when i release new videos and it really helps me out what a selection of reasons why you should hit it <laughs> It's uh, just below the video, a little subscribe button. Thank you so much, and I shall see you on the next adventure. I hope you like this last shot. <laughs> Out.